Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2012 R2 step by step tutorial and this is 23 video in this series so today in this video I am going to show you how to enable extended Hyper-V replication for virtual machine on a Hyper-V so in last video we have enabled the Hyper-V replication which is basically a, a primary and secondary site or primary or secondary server so in this video we are going to focus on extended replication uh, for the virtual machine uh, which is running on a Hyper-V so here is my scenario we are using four virtual machine in this demo so these three virtual machine which is given in blue we have used in last video so the first machine is active directory uh, server and DNS server which is win 2 12 DC01 which is my domain controller if I go here you can see active directory and DNS role we'll go to local server you can see this is my DC01 and this is having active directory and DNS role and my second server is win2k12 hv01 which is primary hyper-v server if I go here you can see oh okay last time we did uh, in last video we did a <coughs> force power up that's why it's the error so you can see this is hv01 and if I go on hyper-v you can see if I go to replicate view replication whole health you can see current primary server is HV01 and secondary is HV02 for both the machine I can show you so this is primary server is HV01 replication server is 02 so this is how is it so HV01 having also Hyper-V role uh, this is getting replicated both the machine and uh, you can see this is a uh, replicated server so this is the infrastructure which we have configured in my last video so now this is the third server which is win2k12 hv01 which is going to be a secondary hyper-v server or you can say the extended uh, replication site or replicated uh, uh, extended replicated hyper-v host so what I'm going to do the first thing let's verify this is the server what I have done I have renamed this machine configured IP address and join in my domain that's all so now let's start and uh, do one thing install the Hyper-V role on this machine so I'm going to click on add role and features click next role based installations click next and I'm going to select the Hyper-V role and add features now I'm going to click next and install Hyper-V role leave everything default and restart the destination computer automatically if required so now click on install so this is going to install a Hyper-V role and restart computer once the installation is done then we can start the configuring the replication partner as extended replication server so let's wait for server to get the installation done and reboot So you can see the machine is getting reboot now after the installation of Hyper-V role. So let's log in now to this machine. And as we know, we need to configure the same switch name in this uh, machine. So, in a new Hyper-V host, so I'm going to open the Hyper-V manager. You can see the role is succeeded, installation succeeded. So go and close this and here I'm going to click on right click and switch I'm going to create external switch this will be external switch and we switch name for the switch is we switch apply changes and good to go and now we need to correct the 
path for this VHD file and virtual machine for this in D drive I have created HV data file and hard drive will be in HV data uh, oops sorry hard drive will be in HV data so copy here and the data virtual machine will be on the top so apply ok and now this machine is good to configure the Hyper-V replication so to configure the extended replication which we discussed here we need to configure the extended replication from our replicated site or replicated Hyper-V host it cannot be uh, configured from this machine so if I go here on a primary machine and see replication you will not find uh, extended replication option here but if I go on my secondary server and right click in a replication you can see extended replication extended replication so I'm going to click here and click next and I'm going to type my server name win 2 k 12 uh, hv03 this is giving some okay replication is not configured so we need to go and configure the replication hv03 you can see and click here it must be HTTP communication and the drive which we have here the path where the replication going to happen and click apply and everything looks good you need to make sure the port 18 bound is enabled on the machine so good apply and now everything look good and if I click next you can see the setting is reflected here so compress the data because it's going to be a network transfer so okay and on extended replication you can see you will get only 5 minute and 15 minute frequency you will not get 30 second frequency frequently uh, frequent data transfer so I'm going to select 15 mi 15 minutes click next and maintain the copy I'm going to maintain eight copies click next and send the initial copy over the network you can send on external media or you can send initial copy by this so I'm going to send the by network and emit it so click next and click on finish you can see initiating the replication and you can see here this machine is uh, uh, getting the virtual machine replicated so receiving changes and you can see the network uh, utilization also so same I'm going to use here and enable the extended replication for this machine click next and win 2 k 12 HV03 and leave the default 15 seconds click next and maintain 8 copy I'm going to maintain for this machine also and over the network I want to transfer and click finish so you can see now both the machine is getting replicated and now if I go here and replication health and if I see replication health you can see the primary server and secondary server uh, HV01 is a primary and this machine is secondary but if I go on my second machine which is receiving the update which uh, where we have configured the extended replication and view the replication hell you will see here okay it's uh, it will take some time okay we, here we go so currently primary server you can see HV01 and the replication server is HV03 so it means uh, this machine is um, on extended replication it's assuming that uh, my primary it's going to receive uh, any changes which is uh, from a virtual machine which is running on HV02 so basically in this diagram the replication side the primary replication side is going to send the data to its replicated site or replicated Hyper-V host and this replicated site and replicated Hyper-V host is going to send the, the changes or a, or a data modification to an extended replication site extended replication Hyper-V host so this it, this work in the same direction which is given in trigram so basically the, this machine is not going to take the changes from primary side this is always going to take the uh, replication from its uh, replicated site so 
if I go close this and now if I go and see the replication health you can see this is looking normal and this machine is also going to look normal so if I go and power on this machine now uh, fail over the point you can see this is giving because it's it's giving the message that the HV01 this machine is running on HV01 so if I go now and shut down one of the machine on HB01 and then see so I'm going to shut down here so now 12 is shut down and I'm going to power on here field over you can see I, I can directly power on this machine so basically um, when, when this uh, uh, when this power on occurs it's going to check have a, uh, like uh, if this machine virtual machine is running on any Hyper-V host or not so this machine is saying that the machine that the machine is our uh, replication partner as HV02 but when I'm going to power on this machine the HV02 is going to get the details like this machine is already running on uh, HV01 so that's why we are getting this message so this is how you can how you can configure the extended replication and you can create a three copy of your virtual machine by using the Hyper-V replication feature. So this is all about the extended replication and Hyper-V replication. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.